Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Akismet anti-spam for Contact Form 7. Contact Form 7 is one of the most popular contact forms and it does have support for Akismet in its native state. However, you have to go through some configuration, especially if your site has a lot of contact forms and you're going to see what I mean. It's not as simple as the Jetpack contact form, for instance, where it has the integration for it already installed. So I'm going to grab both these plugins, install them, and I'm going to go fetch my API key in the other tab. So we're going to go over here, grab my API key. If you don't have an API key, you can go ahead and install one or you can just fetch it using the get your API key, which will log you into wordpress.com. But I have a lot of sites on there and I don't want to go through that process. So I'm just gonna come over here and grab it. So here we go. Akismet now fully set up and working. So there's a couple of major caveats that you need to be aware of when you're building with Contact Form 7 and Akismet. There are only three valid forms that Akismet can check in Contact Form 7. You have to make sure you're using a text form or the email form, and you can check for the name, the email, and if your form asks for a website URL, it can also check for that. Because remember, Akismet's base foundation is to check comment spam, and this is a very solid means of integrating it. So you come over to your contact form, you go over to the forms section, and this form where it says text, then the sign, and then it says your name, to add a keysment, you go a keysment, colon, author. Now what this will do is when it runs through the submission through a keysment, it'll check the name that's submitted in here as if it was the author of a comment. The same thing can be done for the your email form. Keys met author underscore email. So now it'll check for the name and the email address and detect if it's malicious or not. And something you could do is you can modify the form here where it says there was an error trying to send your message. You could just say blocked by a keys met. Now, the reason I'm adding that is so that way I can go ahead and show you what the form would look like in action. So I'm just going to add a test page to illustrate that the integration does work. There we go. Publish, contact form 7, come over here. And I'm just going to go test and then test at test.com, test and test. I'm going to hit the send button. There was an error to sending your message and it was blocked by a keys met. So then if I actually filled it out with my name, like Scott Hartley, and then scott.hartley at certmedia.com. And remember, it's only these two forms. And then it's going to say my message has been sent. So there you go. Quick video on how to set up a keys met with contact form 7 to reduce, con well, submission spam without needing a captcha. If you have any questions about it, you can feel free to ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.